Things can change. Things can always change and change for the better. If you don't make any changes, then no changes will happen. What's up, Commandos? Dr. Kashi here, and wanted to make a shout out to all you perfectionists out there where everything must be perfect. Ah, when you're hosting and all the things need to be perfect. Because if it's not perfect, the sky will fall in a fiery hailstorm. Mm. Just saying. You are probably tempted. Eating schedule or similar schedule, eating similar foods the day before a big day. This is doubly so if you're the one doing a lot of the preparation because everything must be perfect, right? Deciding that you're just simply putting too much energy into preparing for an event or whatever. Being a host. Hostess. And you just can't manage to justify maintaining your own health when everything else must be perfect. And that for whatever reason, you decide to maintain a similar eating schedule with similar foods. If you decide to do that, it'll take away from everybody else's experience for all the time and energy you've put into making this perfect. Everything must be perfect. Right? Since everything must be perfect, you justify not staying on track. If you've really taken on so much responsibility the day before a holiday or a big event that you literally do not have time to properly feed yourself, then it's probably a good time to sit back and see how things might be delegated to make sure everybody still has a good time, including yourself. I didn't think about that. Do you have to make literally everything from scratch? Do you have to be the only person providing everything for whatever gathering this may be? Or can some people bring their own stuff to eat? And it is okay that some of those dishes may not be the exact ways that you would otherwise make them, or that grandma would make them, you know, from, from back home. I don't know, some cool country where they make cool stuff from scratch and it takes a long time. Hell, is there even a chance that someone may actually bring something you like? Or that someone else might bring something that other people like? Is that so bad? Are you really in a situation where if you do not do 100% of everything the entire time before an event happens that the entire get together is lost? It's okay if you don't do everything the way Martha Stewart might. She has employees anyway. In reality, it's probably the best you don't because there needs to be time and energy left over for you to take care of yourself. If you have a bunch of Keebler elves making sure everything is lined up properly, then you aren't doing it all yourself and you still have hired help and it will be good enough. So in that case, if you want to have hired help, then that would be good. And neither of these cases, whether you delegate some of the work to the Keebler elves or other people that are coming to the party, you can free up some of your own mental, physical, and emotional, and psychological energy to take care of yourself and stay on track and make sure that you have a good time and not put yourself in the position of awkward disappointment. <sighs> Because that'll sit with you for days after the party. You'll feel awkward and you'll end up taking it out on your plate and the party favor will be wrapped around your waist. It's okay to focus on taking care of yourself. If you're the type of person who likes to entertain others, good. If everything must be perfect all the time, you'll be susceptible to putting your goals, health, and requirements and needs and desires on the back burner compared to everybody else's, especially if it's some so-called traditional, where if someone is passing the torch from them to you, or if you've had the torch for years already, upholding family traditions or other cultural traditions. I'm afraid this is all reserved. It's traditional. Then, you know, Things can change. Things can always change and change for the better. And that you don't have to necessarily make any changes in the context of hurting other people. You just take care of yourself. And we're now in a time where like, that's allowed, you know? If you don't make any changes, then no changes will happen. And if you're okay with how things go during situations like that, great. If you go backwards and dig yourself a huge hole and leave yourself a party favor around your waist and you know how long it'll take you to get rid of it, is that worth it for you? If so, that's fine. You know, if you don't, how can you delegate a lot of this to make sure you still have time energy left for yourself. How can other people go from being consumers to producers? You have the ability to teach people how and give them that opportunity. You don't have to produce everything. And is it so bad to start a tradition where other people actually participate in making sure that an event goes smooth? I mean, if you are a control freak and don't delegate anything out, then that's just trust issues, honestly, which is something else that needs to be dealt with. It doesn't sound too ridiculous to me to delegate some responsibility. And what a great way to facilitate a nurturing family environment by involving people. Everybody can be in the position to produce and everybody can be in the position to consume, that's okay. And as a host, you're still the hero of the day to make sure everything is working. Even if everybody does all the work and you host it, you are still the host. It is still your party. So you're still the center of attention in that regard. Doesn't mean everything has to be just so. Just saying, I believe in you. Believe in you now. You can do it. You're doing it.